I guess I definitely repressed that because that clearly I sounds you were like so Because I didn't know what it was about, so I, mean, I so just heard A grown man did this to a seventh grade girl. I'm probably like and 11. Boy. What? And boy. Yeah, but you didn't know. He was just bullying I know, us. So I just stood up and everyone was laughing at me. They were laughing at me. But I thought they were probably like, that's where my anxiety comes from. <laughs> stand up. Yeah. To make fun of me for having for you having a crush on me. He wanted to embarrass me. I don't think like that's I should have went to a counselor. I don't think he was trying I think he was trying to set us up. He was probably trying to show you what I looked like. But I was embarrassed. Get over it. We were bitch. friends. Were we? Yeah. At the time. Yeah. We were friends like for a long time. Why didn't it happen? Why would you have had a crush on me before you knew me? I was I know. fuckly, but I had a good sense of humor. You weren't fuckly to me. <laughs> your first impression of me. I don't I don't know I liked him obviously because I thought we were friends. I um, mean since day one he's always loved to make people laugh. And um I probably just loved your great personality. Is that what you remember about me is I made people laugh? Yeah. And oh, I think Class my most long. prominent memory. I don't know if this is Well that's coming up. What is your favorite memory of us together? Oh I have so many. Okay. What is this memory about to tell? Oh just that Another prominent feature about Griffin was he tried to go with every girl. I think that's another reason I didn't want to date him because he had so many crushes on so many girls. Yep. I needed a loyal man. Guys, I thought I was straight and I was just trying to get some Bunani to show me that I was straight. And if you committed to me, you would have got it. That's obviously so embarrassing. <laughs> You have to realize that as a best friend, there's He's a- He's thinking very hard. I think as a best friend, it shouldn't take this long. There's a lot of words, obviously, I'm used to describe you. And all of them start with B. <laughs> no, I'm, I start, like, I want it to be meaningful.
be a customer that so, was kind of rude. Yeah, so I just like walked away. But like, you were just like, you were so nice trying to help her. And she said like, you were so nice with her. Like, I feel like, like with your coworkers, like no matter who it is, what their relationship is with you, how much they've hurt you or whatever, I feel like you always give people the benefit of the doubt and are so gentle and nice with them, even when you shouldn't be. <laughs> so like, I think you're a very caring person. Thank you. See, it meant it was meaningful. That was sweet. I feel that. What is your best friend's dream job? So your dream job. What would you say your dream job is? I Honestly. S- so I guessed Sarah. So let me see if I can guess who it is. CEO of a company. I Like a dream job you don't always attain. Do you know what I mean? I know. I think it's really hard because I feel like all my friends growing up, like Griffin, for example, like he knew he wanted to be a PA. And like when you went into college, this is what oh. I'm doing. I'm committing to this. Yeah. And I know this is end game for me. Like for me, I She switched majors a couple times. Like five times. I changed schools once. And I feel like I've never known exactly what it is I wanna do. I obviously have a lot of things that I enjoy, but and I do enjoy my job right now. Right but, now she is starting a jewelry making business. I know. I'm plugging you because I spent a lot of time on lesbian tiktok she is making jewelry now and like do you have any pictures you could show oh yeah i do i can put them up or you can just show i can just show you um i made some halloween earrings if anybody wants to send them i mean wants me to send them to them it'll be a million dollars so i told her i was like you should like start like an etsy shop or something and she's like no i just want to like give them to people like let her know in the comments and i'll show her let her i could go in like the beginning let her know if you guys think that she should make an Etsy shop. Do you think people would buy them? And also, how much would you pay? Because she thinks they're not good enough for Etsy or whatever. I think I would charge probably like $2. $2? Yeah. That's like a $10 pair of earrings. Exactly. I don't know how much are earrings. I don't really know. I'm gay. Like, good earrings are expensive, but like, these are like, only <gasps> a little bit of... Adam just sent me a song. Who? It's Adam. Who? My friend Adam. I didn't Watch realize this was Adam's video. It is Adam's video. Also, shout out to Cheryl. Cheryl, if you're watching this video, I love you. You, I read the message. You, thank you for being so sweet. It literally made his entire day. Mm-hmm. Which don't expose me. Babe. Aside from hanging out with me today. Obviously. Okay, so. Like, it, I think it would be fun for you to have like a, like a 9 to 5 job. I know. I work nights right now. And as much as I've been enjoying it, I'm so looking forward to focusing on my mental and physical health and getting in a nice routine with like a daytime job after I graduate. So like I picture you doing like a daytime job, like CEO or whatever, like manager of some sort of company, like slay in the game. And then I see you coming home and doing something creative like this, like the earrings or whatever. I like feel like you don't like you don't use that outlet that side of you as much like your creative side or like the side where you can like really get into your hobbies and like really do like for me like twitch and youtube and stuff like i can't that's not pa you know what i mean mine is like take, like going to bed early and taking my makeup off like bath doing baths oh. and crying yeah <laughs> crying in the bath mm-hmm. and eating I, yeah i mean i could see like a ceo situation but like not like a money driven one maybe like a non-profit or something like i see you as anne hathaway in the movie Wait, um, the apprentice i've never seen that movie it's so good or the intern i think it's called um what is something that annoys you about me okay i don't if you say nothing i, I think will one of, oh no i think one thing that's very annoying about you But get the fuck out of here, bitch. I'm serious. It's like not my heavy ass pants. Keep your pants on up there. I don't know. Like with school, you're like, oh my god, I studied all night and I messed up this entire test. And like you get better grades than I do in like my communication classes. <laughs> Shut up. Because I think we're very similar in that regard. I know. 
but we're an exception. Sarah and I couldn't answer because we've never thought about living together, but Jenna and I have definitely yeah, thought about living together. I, I told him I want to move to, like, New England area, oh. like Salem or Boston. Did okay. we talk about yeah. this? I would love That's that. That's kind of, like, smaller town, though. Like, I'm kind of feeling like a city for me, though. Boston is a city. Oh, Boston. Like, Boston, Massachusetts. Like, yeah. Yeah. Salem, though? I don't know how big that is. Salem was cute. It was, like, really touristy, though, but... Mm. Boston would be fun. I think so. I wanted to go to Boston this summer. I literally just sent you a TikTok. Like, if you're not best friends, if you don't plan to I chose an I That's literally, literally awesome. I literally liked it. That's so funny. Um, yeah, and we like Boston's really historical. It's got a lot of older buildings, maybe a haunted building. Um, if I stay with the company I'm currently at, there are like other locations there that I can transfer to. Oh, really? Like, I feel like, like, yeah, and they, they usually help people. Um, you know, stuff like that. 
making a couple, so we went to Toronto to see Casey Musgraves for my 21st birthday. 21st birthday. Um, we took like a day trip to Michigan. I would like to go to Pennsylvania to go to that like um, that Urban Outfitters warehouse. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on the list. But I don't. Do they have clothes there? Because like, who the hell are we to buy furniture? Uh, yeah, I know if they have clothes there. Just when we move in together, of course we'll. Yeah, the furniture that way. But um, if anybody knows, like Griffin Let us knows. know. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the only trips we've taken together? I don't. Yeah, probably. Okay. We take lots of trips to DJ Max and Marshall. Period. Um. Is there any weird foods that you like? I'll eat anything. Truly. Um. What was the name of your of your first crush? Other than me. How about a celebrity crush? A celeb crush. Talking about how I liked country music when I was younger, I distinctly remember writing a love letter, like, to George Strait. Do you know who that is? No. He's considered the king of country. My dad loves him. I remember writing, a, like, a love letter to him. I don't know. It's kind of messed up. That's kind of cringe. Because he's, like, now in, like, his 70s. How old were you at the time? Like 11? Like 7 or 8 probably. I like when people talk about like having love and like lust and stuff like that. I don't think I ever crushed on anyone. Like Then you're probably normal. I don't know. Maybe I'm ace. Maybe. Oh no, I jerk off. I keep in my case. <laughs> um, what are three things that you would take with you on an on a deserted island? Really? Your vibrate. Stop it. <laughs> I didn't mean to that purpose. My hands are just really crusty. Dry. Yeah. Um, I don't mind. Your vibrator. <laughs> She's um, like, cut this shit out. Cut the cameras. Dennis. Dennis. Um, I don't know. Your brother. <laughs> I'd rather talk to myself. He would do everything for you. <laughs> he, yes, he does.
I am gonna call my parents drag him like everybody else. <laughs> Griffin's cousin tried to wheel me. He canceled the date last minute to hang with the boys. And then he had the audacity to not reschedule. <laughs> this man is in his 30s. I'm a prize. Um, Billy, if you're watching my this. My aunt used to watch my videos. I don't know if she still does. Your aunt was lovely. I thought she was fantastic. I was very excited for her to be my mother. No, it does. I mean, you're guaranteed. I freaking hope so. Yeah. If you met a genie and were granted one wish, what would it be? Clear skin. I was gonna say the same thing. Oh. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do together? TJ Maxx? And TJ Maxx. I feel like everything. I feel like we always have a good time when we're together unless one of us is in a depressive episode. <laughs> When the both of us are in a depressive episode, don't come near us. <laughs> if you were ordering a pizza for your best friend, what toppings would they want? Um, I know, okay. you like all the weird shit. I like a nice, like, veggie pizza. We were went to Blaze the one day on our Michigan trip, and everything that he wanted, I was like, ew, and everything I wanted, he was like, ew. Yeah, I wanted, like... He got a buffalo chicken. Yeah, I wanted buffalo chicken, and you wanted, like, fucking... I got, like, tomato, spinach, uh, sausage, onions. Garlic.
better at talking to people. Probably you. I, I think it's both of us. I mean, I'm really good at talking to people, Sarah but so are you. Her. fucking cheese in a quesadilla. <laughs> when have I ever done that? Chris used to do that. Oh, you're mixing up your Aries here. He used to just put shredded cheese in a flour tortilla. No offense to any of you if you guys do this. Fold it in half and put it in the microwave. He was white. <laughs> the caucasity. Who handles their money better? You. Well, I have no money. You. I spend like it's going out of style. But you have money. I don't even have money, so I can't even be a part of this. I mean, I feel like you spend less because you're like, I don't have any money. Like, he doesn't, in, like, put himself into debt, if that makes sense. Who's more reliable? I don't know. I, don't I feel know. like we're equal. Who's more annoying? Probably you. Who always gets their way? I don't know. We're both middle children, so I feel like that automatically puts us at a disadvantage. Who's more extroverted slash introverted? I, I feel like we're that. a mix of both. Like, I think when we're out with yeah. people, we like it. And, but then we value our alone time. Yes. You know? Who's more optimistic slash pessimistic? Or both Depends who's on the upwards or downwards swing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what part of our bipolar disorder we have? <laughs> um, oh, why is... We finally it? decided to do <laughs> uh, The boy she's supposed to go on a date with. He sent me an audio message. Ew, wait. Stop the boy who... My Gabriel. I don't have a Gabriel. What? We're talking about the boy that just texted me. Yeah, I'm saying that the boy... 37 I, seconds. Should we play it out loud? I think we should. We're going don't play it. it too loud, though. Turn oh. down your volume. Sorry. Adjust your earbuds right now, because I have no control. I can turn it down afterwards. Hey, you. Uh, sorry I haven't been super chatty today. I, um... He sounds drunk. I had to run and do a bunch of errands today. I... Why does he sound like he's on a podcast? Or like my uh, apartment. Good quote. Um, what so I had to go and like sign the lease and then on the phone. I feel like you could have texted this. Building company and then looking at furniture and it's just been one hell of a mess. It's but really anyhow, kind of I just wanted to send I you a message. So Hope you're having a great day today. Um, and uh, let me know if we're still on for tomorrow morning. All right. See ya. <laughs> what did you say? That sounded <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, why is this the new thing? Like that boy is this that a new I went thing? the boy that I wanted to date with was sending voice messages. Is this the new thing? I don't know. He's thirty, so I don't know if he's hip enough for that. His voice is kind of hot. I agree, so I'm glad he's sending me messages. And then he's gonna hear mine. That's gonna be like me. My half a can is making me horny. I don't know what's going on. It's cause I'm here. <laughs> it's <the> loneliness. <laughs> wait, yes. are you gonna go then? We are dead.
multiple. Just one for me. Mr. Blank. Oh, you did. I hosted a male beauty pageant as well. And you're vampire the vampire beauty. one. And I feel like there was a third one of like people in their cars or something. That was for Taylor. Oh. Um. No. I see all those videos. They're still on YouTube. Um, I organized a blood donation at my school. And so did Sarah. Oh, I did mine the fall semester. She did hers spring semester. But because it happened on Halloween, it was Halloween themed. And Is this what it's called? Like, yeah. Um, say like blood drive or something. Not this, right? No. What so the we, fuck is we that? reenacted the scene from Twilight where Bella goes, I know what you are. What did, what did it be called? Type in, like, student union. Blood. This is probably the thing. Blood drive. Yeah, that's the channel. Oh, it is. Maybe. That's what I was asking. What if they're removed? I mean, I believe How many years the ago? advisor might do this. <gasps> copyrighted So I, I, and it's blood donor. Are you afraid? Hey guys, if you're in the uh, that was my acting thing. I didn't know she was part of that. Yes, yeah, I organized it with her. Um, I just bloopers. I am. I was gonna do something else. I forgot. Oh, I didn't get a hundred because I. Said, <laughs> I was getting like TMJ. <laughs> I literally, my jaw hurt. That's a good angle of me. Right? And you don't like it? I just cracked them all. 
Oh, mine don't bend like that. Oh. I'm dainty. Try to does does your dad know I saw him in his underwear? Yes, remember? No. No. Oh, that's not a thing about Griffin that annoys me. His memory. Non-existent. Oh, she comes up with it. Finally. <laughs> I forgot. Nothing annoys you about me. Except I've got a list. <laughs> We're at 46 minutes. Well, like and subscribe for a part two. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Get up close. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like and a comment, please. Please do. Um, I'm usually more money than this, I promise. I told Sarah to do a blog for herself. Do you want them to follow you anywhere or no? I mean, you can follow my socials if you want. Um, I don't post on Instagram. I do. I might have a boy um, messaging me, so... <laughs> um, only if you're over six foot. Not oh, water yeah, sign, no cancers, no Pisces. Um, you can follow... Uh, I don't really use all social media. Oh, yeah, you don't have to. Talk. Follow my Instagram so I'm inspired enough to post my first picture. It's... Uh, it has my name on it. Okay, then don't put it. Find me, Venmo me five hundred dollars. The first person to find me, Venmo me five hundred dollars on social media. Okay, this video is completely over. Um, I love you guys. Thank you.